Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Rancho Cordova here in California? Well, you are in the right place. By the way, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Hit the alert um, bell so that you are the first to know about all things living in Sacramento and the amazing suburbs like Rancho Cordova. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Renee with the Friedrich team here at eXp Realty and the Living in Sacramento YouTube channel. And today we are exploring all things Rancho Cordova, which is a really great suburb just outside of the city of Sacramento. And as you can see, I am standing in front of City Hall and Rancho Cordova actually became an incorporated city back in 2003. And there's about 80,000 residents that call Rancho Cordova home. And it's referred to, as you can see up there on the sign, as the All-America City. Um, and people also call it the Playful City, as well as, you know, they take on the City of Trees as well, just like the City of Sacramento does. So those are a few of the fun um, nicknames for Rancho Cordova. Um, I'm walking through the parking lot of the City Hall because there's also, on that line of, you know, the Playful City, we've got the um, Regions Children's Museum is right here in the same parking lot and oh my gosh back when they first opened um, they well I'll go back um, I'm part of a nonprofit here locally Junior League of Sacramento and the Junior League had a big hand in helping to get the Sacramento Children's Museum their start and it's right here in the same parking lot so um, that was actually one of the big hurdles when they were looking to open the Children's Museum is that they couldn't necessarily find a great location because as you can imagine, for all of the play and explore and things that you want to do in a children's museum, they needed a lot of space. And so the city of um, <laughs> Rancho Cordova stepped up and provided a really great space for them, just again, right in the same parking lot as the city hall. And um, on that note, I think I said it's 478th city in California when they became incorporated. and. Rancho Cordova has really become a great tech spot for businesses here in our region and people coming from out of the region. We actually just had a pretty big company announce um, that they were going to be relocating their semiconductor research and development lab here um, just recently. And so really big win for our whole region and also especially for the city of Rancho Cordova for sure. So um, it's Solodime, I hope I'm saying that right. And so they're going to end up bringing Oh my gosh, I think it was like 1,900 jobs into the area and really like well-paying jobs as well. So that's gonna be great for Sacramento, Rancho Cordova and the whole surrounding area as well, of course. There's about 80,000 people that call Rancho Cordova home. And today on our tour, we're gonna go see three different homes and three different price points like usual. And um, we're gonna be staying this week um, or this, this episode, we're gonna be staying just south of 50 so that we can explore this part of the city. And then in a subsequent tour, we'll definitely get north of 50 so that you guys can see um, the little bit older side of Rancho Cordova as well. And then I'm gonna do a whole episode just on Gold River because that is its own special spot here in the area. Um, some things that our residents really enjoy here in Rancho Cordova though, is the more than six miles of the American River frontage that they've got. There's, oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna fact check myself, but I think there's somewhere in the more than 20 miles of um, trails, and bike and running trails throughout the, the city and so much more. So throughout our tour today, I will throw in some more fun facts and let's get to it. You guys, here we are at our first visit for our Rancho Cordova walking tour and we are in Capital Village, which is a really great community. Um, they started building here in the late 2000s, um, you know, like 2009, 2010, and then even still have been developing this area. And this house um, just recently came on the market. It is a two bedroom, two and a half bath, and I think it um, said something about an office as well. Um, so, you know, nice size um, home, especially for first time home buyers or for that busy professional. Um, this neighborhood is amazing for walking and actually I'll um, do a little walking over to the park that's back there behind me. 
And then literally just across the way is the business park where we were just talking about the extended a number of um, employers that are here in Rancho Cordova. Um, in fact, there's 3,500 um, individual employers in the region or in the city, and they employ about 65,000 people. So really one of the highest um, populations of workers in the whole Sacramento region um, is here in Rancho Cordova and we've got a ton of tech, a ton of financial institutions, um, there's you know just a whole plethora of job opportunities that are available here in Rancho Cordova and more and more industry coming here because the city has done a really great job of attracting business to the area um, and so Going back to the house though that's behind me, um, it is listed for um, 419000 and again it's two bedroom, two and a half bath and it does have, um, I've got my cheat sheet here, it's got 1,309 square feet um, and so you know again good size home especially for that busy professional um, or for a family that's starting out and it's um, super super fun neighborhood like I said you you're always gonna see people out here walking biking um, and the house you know with it being under um, that 420 mark it's actually under the median home price for Rancho Cordova which is 503,000 as of right now and it is um, almost November of 2022 and we've got this great fall weather that we're experiencing right now as well and so um, I'm just walking back here to the back of the house so you guys can see it is an alley load um, style home so you've got your garage in the back of the house front door up facing the the main road there and um, so the houses are pretty low maintenance um, they do have pretty small yards which is again great if you're a person that has to travel a lot for work or if you just like being able to you know like drop and go and go you know have fun exploring all of the great areas that are all around our region here in the Sacramento area. So um, if I go and twist this way, you guys will see in the background there, it might be too far back um, to see that, but that's where the business park starts. So literally, if you're living in Capital Village, you could um, just bike to work if you're you know, at one of the businesses that's right here in the uh, business park. And then that is one of the parks of Capital Park as well um, so there's some folks playing over there I don't want to interrupt them and there's just you know I think I was saying you know more than 20 miles of trails um, bike and running trails or walking trails here in Rancho Cordova and it's actually 26 so I fact check checked myself um, in between stops and there's 26 miles of trails and then there's also more than 70 acres of tributaries parks um, and green space here in Rancho Cordova as well. So, so much great stuff for the nature lover and um, really close proximity to downtown as well. So if you do work in Sacramento, you're only about 20, 25 minutes, you know, even with traffic to get downtown. So really great location and so many amenities like we were talking about earlier, whether you're a family or a single person um, or, you know, just a, a busy professional, there's lots to do and lots to offer here in Rancho Cordova. And next up, we're going to go to more of a um, move up home and it's about 1800 square feet and it's going to be over in one of my favorite areas of Rancho Cordova, Stone Creek. So I will see you guys there. So here we are on our second stop of our Rancho Cordova tour. And I love this because this is just part of that 70 plus acres of parks and tributaries. And then there's also some of those 26 miles of walking paths back there in the background as well. So you get to see it all today, um, that's for sure. And um, we are here in Stone Creek and I do a great job of always picking the the sunniest time of day when the sun's right in my eyes to show you guys houses. So this house behind us, um, it was actually Elliot 
the builder um, here. It's 1,851 square feet, four bedrooms. It has three full bathrooms, so there is a bedroom and bathroom downstairs. That's a really great floor plan, and I can tell you that for sure because not only have I sold it a bunch of times, but Mike and I, um, our first house in Folsom was that same floor plan. <laughs> so um, we, We've only owned four houses, but I promise I, it seems like I talk about our home buying journey all the time, which I think is why we do get to help so many um, other people buy and sell real estate here in the area because we've been through um, quite a bit and we can definitely relate to all of our clients and their home buying journeys. So anyway, um, Elliot is a great local builder and they literally built, um, they've built thousands and thousands of homes here in the region and they built these models quite a bit th over the years so um, again we've had the chance to sell this model as well as having owned it for a couple of years um, when we first bought our very first home way back in 2000 so um, little fun fact there and this particular house it is um, listed at just under 600,000 599 999 um, and so a little bit more than the median home price here in Rancho Cordova and it's also you know pretty good size house too and um, this particular one is on a decent size lot too it's 0.13 acres so we'll show some pictures here um, from our friends that have it listed and um, the thing that I really like about Stone Creek is again you're like right here in the heart of Rancho Cordova um, and you've got just a ton of green belt and um, trails and parks all here in the area and then they're also doing a really great job of building up some of the shop shopping and restaurants nearby as well so there's no shortage of you know places to eat and drink of course you know you can have a cocktail um, or a nice glass of wine um, there's a mimosa house really close by which is a great local spot for brunch and lunch and um, there's a Lowe's really close by we all know that once you buy a home Lowe's and Home Depot end up being your favorite places and um, in addition there's a Costco nearby as well so if you do like to buy in bulk um, our friends at Costco are super close and um, just a couple other little things about Rancho Cordova. Um, there's actually two different school districts here in the area. And so this part of Rancho Cordova is part of Folsom Cordova School District. And so um, really well rated. And um, actually all the schools in Rancho Cordova are pretty well rated um, because if you're a little bit further south or um, a little bit further east, you actually will end up in the El Grove Unified School District, and that is also an A minus um, rated school district according to niche.com. So, um, both Folsom Cordova and the Elk Grove Unified School Districts are both really well rated, and so you've got a great chance um, if you end up choosing Rancho Cordova because of all of the industry and the proximity to downtown, um, and it's a little bit more affordable than some of our other areas that we've looked at recently. Um, so. You do have a good chance of having your kids end up in really good schools as well, which is super important if you do have kiddos. Um, and if you are single or you know you're just a busy professional, um, there's you know really again close proximity to um, food and shopping and things to do, as well as close proximity to downtown here in Rancho Cordova as well. So there's um, so a little bit of something I would say for everybody um, that's moving into our region here and again one more look at the house behind me um, here in Stone Creek all right oh on my way here I just realized they're building um, or they've built a Sprouts too so some good healthy options for shopping as well um, as well as all of the normal you know supermarkets also and I feel like Sprouts is just a fun, you know, somewhat newer chain that um, is here in the region. So anyway, good stuff there. We have one more stop today. We're gonna go over to Anatolia, which is a great master plan community that's got a clubhouse. And I'm not sure if we'll be able to get in there this time of day. And I will definitely do my best to um, at least provide some photos of that clubhouse. It's very similar to the Natomas Park Clubhouse, I think it was um, developed around the same time, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. And we're going to see a nice big home over there in Anatolia. So, see you there.
guys, we are at our last home stop of the day. And then I'll have one more stop as usual um, after this for us. And I'm over here in Anatolia as promised. And um, interestingly enough, I don't know if you guys recall from when I was out at um, the Natomas walking tour and we were in Westlake and um, I was at a Jackson model. And I promised you that they had built, um, Lennar Homes had built these houses all over town and this is another Jackson. So 4,097 square feet, um, again here in Anatolia, which is a, um, another master plan community. So there is a homeowners association and um, this particular, they, they have it set up a couple different ways. Always, there's always some customization that you can do with the houses. And this one is a five bedroom, three baths. It's on more than a quarter acre because as you can see, we are in a cul-de-sac location and um, so really nice big yard on this one. Um, and you do have access to the clubhouse as well, which is fantastic. And um, I apologize for that sun. Um, I always have a knack for coming out right in the evening. Um, that seems to be when I have time to come and show you all around. So um, again, 4,097 square feet. Interestingly enough, this house is priced at $799, which in the last 30 days in um, Rancho Cordova, we haven't had any sales over $780. So it's going to be super interesting to see if the sellers are able to um, get their asking price, which it's only been on the market for a few days, so time will definitely tell. And typically in Rancho Cordova, when we um, have a home that goes pending within 30 days of being on the market, we are seeing homes sell for 100% of their asking price. Here's a little win today. <laughs> so, um, and so um, hopefully, I mean, um, it is a nice, big, beautiful home. Again, 4,097 square feet. Um, this is the model that's got that split staircase where you've got, um, you can head upstairs from both the entry and then also from over in the kitchen area. And then there's a nice bedroom and bath downstairs typically, as well as a huge bonus room upstairs, which I've seen people set up as, you know, a second master suite. Um, or owner suite, as we're supposed to say, um, or as a theater room, um, an exercise room. Obviously, since um, the pandemic, we have a lot more people working from home, so I've seen that set up as a really like huge office space as well. Um, if you have both spouses working from home, you definitely have room for that here in the Jackson, um, which again, we've got here in Anatolia. They built this home all throughout the area though, so if you ever um, tour one with us and you're like, wow, I really love that Jackson, we can definitely help you find one in whichever community almost that you decide that you want to live in here in the Sacramento region and as we've been showing you there's so much to choose from um, here in Sacramento and our goal um, with our channel is just to help you get to know the different areas and of course of course help you make a smooth move to Sacramento if you are one of those lucky folks that gets to come here from um, out of the area or even just within the area so um, I'm gonna head over and take some footage um, hopefully from inside the clubhouse, if not definitely from outside and the park that's right across the street from the clubhouse to the Eagle's Nest. So we'll head there next. I am um, here at the Anatolia Clubhouse, which is a great amenity for the homeowners here in Anatolia. And there's multiple pools, there's a gym, there's of course meeting areas, and all the things you'd expect from a great clubhouse. And um, the HOA here in Anatolia is actually fairly reasonable, especially considering that it does include this, you know, beautiful clubhouse. It's only $115 per month. Um, and so, you know, when you consider that you could potentially cancel a gym membership and, you know, still have access to lovely amenities like there's tennis courts, basketball courts, uh, multiple pools, gyms, um, places where you could host, you know, big football parties or anything of the sort, um, I feel like it's a, a really good value for sure. Um, so that wraps up all of the homes for today and I'm going to go stop at one more spot and we'll wrap it up from there.
are wrapping up our Rancho Cordova tour for the day and I'm here at Capital Village which is a great shopping and um, walking around outdoor um, area here in Rancho Cordova just off of Zinfandel and there's a Lowe's way back there in the background and I had mentioned this spot earlier today and um, it's interesting because literally I feel like there's every single type of food available here in Capital Village and it's appropriate because actually Rancho Cordova um, has the second highest um, they're ranked number two, I should say, for the most diverse school district. So it's appropriate that you can literally come down here and have almost any type of food that you would possibly want to have. So um, there's Steve's Pizza, there's Chili's, there's Panera, there's a Thai restaurant, there's a teriyaki place, a pokey bowl place, um, there's Anytime Fitness in here so you can work all of that off. Um, of course there's a Starbucks, there's Starbucks I think on every single corner. Um, and then, you know, all sorts of other spots too that I'm sure I am forgetting. Oh, the Mimosa House that I was talking about earlier that's a great local chain. Um, they are over in the other parking lot, but also here in Capital Village. So, um, just wrapping things up here today, like I said, and, you know, whether you're looking to move to the Sacramento region or Rancho Cordova specifically in a week, a month, or even a year, we are here to help you. And um, like we always say, we get calls and emails and messages from folks like you every single day and our team just loves it. So please don't hesitate to reach out so that we can help you make a smooth move to Sacramento. All right, you guys, again, if you have not yet um, hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that and hit the alerts so that you are some of the first to know about all things living in Sacramento and our surrounding areas, just like Rancho Cordova here today. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.